I'm Jim Collison, and this is the Wellbeing at Work with Clifton Strengths podcast recorded on November 11th, 2021. In this Clifton Strengths podcast, we look at the strengths, insight, and action planning items from Appendix 1 in the Gallup book, Wellbeing at Work, one theme at a time. And today's theme is Activator. If you're listening live, we'd love to have you join us in the chat room. Link to that right above me there. If you're listening after the fact and you have questions, you can always send us an email, coaching at gallup.com. Dr. Jacqueline Robinson is our host today. She works as a learning uh, and development consultant and is the primary contributor to Appendix One in the Wellbeing at Work book. And Jacqueline, always great to see you and welcome back. Thank you, friend. Thank you. We today are looking at Activator and let's just get started with what is Activator? Give us that definition. Activator is all about, you know, the first thing that comes to mind is they're a catalyst. Uh, They turn thoughts into action. They want to do things now. Uh, There's an energy and a spark about them that people can just feel. I think physically and mentally, there's there's an energy about them, a fire about Mm -hmm. them. Every theme has an inward and an outward effect. So how does it relate to you? Yes. So activators, um, they like to get things started. There's a lot of energy and enjoyment that comes from getting things going, getting people going. If we start thinking about what that looks like outwardly, uh, they can get people inspired to start moving. Let's not just talk about it. Let's be about it. Let's go. So we see that personally within them where they're just, you know, firing on all cylinders uh, with different projects. And then we see that within teams as well. And how does that What's the outward look like? How does that relate to others? Yeah. So to others, you know, they can be that, um, I think about them sometimes as that cheerleader or that motivator. They're really good at inspiring people and energizing people to get started on a work project or um, even if we relate it to sports, they might be that person on the sports team or intramurals team that gets people fired up for the game that's about to start or halfway point or in a slump. We got this. We got this. So they are the the individuals that can really help energize other people um, for goals, for you know, sports purposes within the family. Uh, they're the excitement. I have Activator Five, and I get energy sometimes just by thinking. Like if I'm low on energy, I'll just mm-hmm. think, "What? What can I do new? <laughs> like, yes. what can I start?" And it, it's <laughs> funny. Just that idea, that thought, can kind of spark some energy. Um, I think it's even better when I think, what could I start for someone else? Like, mm-hmm. what could I, what, how could I influence, it's an influencing thing, right? So how yeah. could I influence others to do something? It's probably a thought I need to have a little bit more. Although in my role here, I do that a lot. How out. can we create new content for our coaches, our global community of coaches? So and you're uh, really good about that. It gives, I get a lot of, I just realized that I get a lot of energy from that. Mm-hmm. Like that's something that bra- thinking of a new series, we are getting ready for this series couldn't stop thinking about it. I was like, this is going to be great. Right. And <laughs> yes. Now that we're in it, I mean, it's okay, but it, yeah. <laughs> it was the lead up to it, it starting something up. new, wasn't it? it was and you're so up. good at that, at coming up with new, new ideas and being really mm-hmm. um, energized around it and getting other people excited yeah. for that. Get, idea. And roping others in, like I roped you in to do <laughs> yes. this, right. It's a great op. You can see to my <gasps> eyes, they get bright when I get excited about this, my eyes brighten up and I get, it's I true. get, I get uh, pretty excited. How does the theme look when you think of thriving versus struggling? Thriving? I feel like it's that healthy energy. Um, It's it's energy that might last even throughout the day where you're constantly excited to be able to get started on on something or to call someone up and share out something that you want to maybe get started on or something that you're you're um, it could be a hobby or interest. And now you're going to dive into it. But it's it feels I feel like that energy that you can just have throughout the day that's sustained Um, and other people see it too. So if they need that pick me up because their well-being is down and out, they know that they can call you and you're going to inspire them and re-engage them in what they're doing. Struggling, I think, can look the opposite. So it's no longer maybe this excitable energy, but it feels more um, like the jitters, so to speak. There's so many things that you've now started that you don't even know where to focus your attention. And so now it's just that nervous anxiety or that nervous energy or the, the jitters of like, okay, you almost feel like a hamster in a wheel. 
-hmm. And you almost have to take that step back and go, what, what have I started? And who else can I bring in to help me complete it (laughs) at that point for the work that, that needs to get done. Um, And in the household, even if we relate that back to, you know, what it feels like around family or friends, they might even be able to pick up on that nervous energy or some of the jitters that you have, or they can just see that you're not quite present in the moment. You're thinking about all the different things and your mind is just kind of spinning. I've actually had community people ask me, I, when I'm, struggling in that <clears throat> maybe too many things going on or a lot of things happening at once worry mm-hmm. i think as one when you think about well-being i think worry is one of those early warning indicators when we cuz yeah. listen when i start new things i'm not worried about them <laughs> like i don't it's like oh i'm starting too many i don't worry but when i've <laughs> yeah. got so many going and i have that i have that emotion right i have that worry or stress right of like yes oh these things are weighing me down I've, I've had folks see that through webcasts and say, everything all right? Like, uh, you know, and so I think that's, again, that early warning indicator to listen for uh, as we think when it's not, when it's, when I'm struggling with it, maybe I've got too much going on or I've bitten off more than I can chew and I start to worry, I start to get stressed. That can, and that's just not a work thing. Yes. Right? I, that can be in what's going on around us or with family members. Anything else that you want to add on that struggling side? Yeah, you're bringing up the the concept of rumination too, where you can just be up at night ruminating on things yes. that you've started. Right. Right. Um, and I love what Kathy even said in chat was you want to start things and you can't. Uh, and that is going to deplete someone that has activator high when you love being able to get things started. So that's yeah. a great point. Can you give from the book as we, we look in appendix one, there's some best practices for one of for each one of the well-being elements uh, for for activator. Can you can you walk us through one of those? Yeah. So for Activator, one that I thought would be um, beneficial to look at today is just physical well-being because so many people are experiencing burnout or maybe they had, you know, fitness, a fitness routine or regimen, or they were at least getting outside before COVID and they've just gotten off track. Uh, Maybe they're, they've got Zoom fatigue because they're sitting for a long time. So one thing that I think activators are great at is they can help people um, get that physical boost that they need to feel a little bit more energized throughout the day. So, you know, when you see a a team that needs that boost of energy, um, maybe encourage them to get up and start moving around or uh, be that person on the team that says, okay, this is, we're going to take a stretch break. Everyone get up. Let's stretch over, you know, on the zoom call, or let's take a walking meeting. Um, But they are able, because we see that physical energy, it's, it's very kinesthetic, I would say, with activators, they're really good at being able to boost people's energy. And we're seeing that Mm. people are needing that right now. There's a lot of just lethargic feeling throughout the day if you're just on Zoom all day long. I love that because we really need, sometimes we just need movement and that influencing that pushing forward of just going Mm -hmm. can be, hey, let's go grab something. Let's go get a cup of coffee. Let's go to lunch. Yes. Can I spend, can can we do a 15 minute call? Like we can't always, we're not always in person. I've been doing a lot of this lately. Didn't realize it was the activator of, I just had one come in this morning. Hey, I've got a question. Can I call you? Like, yes, literally, can I call you? And it just has been one of those things that kind of keeps the, keeps it rolling, keeps it moving, keeps it happening. Mm -hmm. Um, Any, anything else that you'd add to that? No, I love that. And I've seen so many examples of folks doing that throughout the the last couple of years. Um, let's go get a juice together if they're working on site. Hey, let's have a walking meeting. I don't care if you're out of breath, like that's fine. Let's just, let's walk and move around as yeah. a team on this call and not just be on Zoom. Hey, let's go do yoga together. Let's go play tennis. Um, so many different ways that I've yeah. seen people really activate and get their blood moving. Or, hey, yeah. let's just take a 15 minute break. I've built that into the meeting, come back in 15 minutes and we'll, we'll get started. I, I don't know if you've ever uh, harvested, a, this is going to be really obscure, a marigold seed. Like if you have marigold plants, you know, no. and when, after they've been pollinated, they dry up and just bend over and then you just, you just kind of pull them off the plant. If you, if you put that in between your fingers and rub it, all the seeds come out. Right. And it's super satisfying. Like it's one of those kinds of things. And so I've been taking breaks you know, I, I need a five minute break. I go to the backyard. I, this is the season, right? They're starting yes. to, it's getting cold and I'll just harvest a few of those seeds. And it's incredibly satisfying. 
and it's an activator moment because mm-hmm. I'm I'm just deciding. Okay, I'm just going to go do this, and I and I put him there, get him ready for next year. But it's that kind of movement for myself. Yeah. And then I could also I I I mentioned that to my daughter in law, and they have some plants at their place, and when she's walking with the kids, the kids now like to pick them and. And get the get you know just kind of pull the seeds out for others, right? You know, doing it for others. So I think there's some great opportunities there um, when when we think about that. That's wise. You you actually bring up a good point too Mm. of just um, some people because you're doing something that was tactile. It reminded me that some people will just have things they can play with at their desk to worry stones that they can just rub on that just helps create some form of movement. Yeah. What else were you? you I was going to say, I was just going to remind everybody there's four, the four other elements are in appendix one. And so if you want to go back to that, as you're thinking about that, if you have activator, you're trying to help activators, great opportunity to go back through and uh, review those with activator. Then let's, let's focus this. I kind of mentioned this and and we'll use it as a transition. When we think about helping Mm -hmm. others, how can we use activator either in, in, in managing or being on a team or as an individual? Yeah, I think, well, as a manager, one thing that can, that activators can do is just pay attention to the energy of the team. Um, Are you recognizing that people are in a slump or they're burned out? Are they wearing stress on their face? Are they not getting up and moving around a lot? You're just hearing that they're just at their computers all day and being able to take charge of that. And again, if you're in control of a meeting and it's an hour long, can you build in a 10 to 15 minute break where they can use that time within the hour to get up, move around, do something inspiring, and then come back because they're probably going to have a lot of fresh ideas because they've had a moment to move around and they haven't had that all day. Um, encouraging them, you know, what are some things that you're inspired to do? And let me help you activate on that. Um, and then last but not least, I think is just if they have, you know, physical goals for themselves, being that cheerleader and that motivator. Hey, what are, and you hear that maybe they're saying, Oh, you know, I want to get back on my fitness track. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm here. How about I check in with you and our one-on-ones just to see how that's going. Those are the first three things that automatically come to mind. If I think about a manager with activator, what about, uh, as being on a team? Yes. Um, activators are really good at just bringing the energy. Um, Calling up an activator, if you can, just to say, hey, I just needed someone to talk to. Let's take five. And, you know, activator, you've probably seen those people as an accountability buddy. You can tell they're in a slump and you just want to be there for them. Your energy alone just kind of gives off a vibe to other people. And I think even just calling them up, hey, let's take five. How are you? What are you working on? How can I support? Um, Can be that extra push to get them energized. Uh, And within a team meeting just inspiring people through movement or through action. If people are talking and not getting enough done. And if needed, it's not always yes. needed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's not always needed. Sometimes activators, you down. Uh, activators, my people, just sometimes it's not needed. <laughs> <laughs> just sit tight. It, you'll be okay. Right. Uh, what, what about as an individual? Um, I think this goes back to a conversation you and I had even had um, last week. Where's the energy going for someone with activator? Because there is that natural energy, but what makes you really excited? Or do you have that smile on your face and you can't stop thinking about it in a positive way? Paying attention to where that energy is for you. So if you are experiencing some form of burnout and poor well-being, you can take a pause which isn't always easy to do as an activator, but take that pause and go, yeah, what does get me really fired up and excited for the day and try to find more opportunities to do that. In appendix two, we spend a bunch of time. We have a framework for you there. Very, I think it like there are some great questions in there in appendix two. Let's walk through that framework uh, as we think about the, through these elements, mm-hmm. these five elements working through, ask yourself, Jacqueline, walk us through that just as kind of a, a, a discipline of, uh, of that section. Yes. So if I think about ask yourself, one great question that you'll find in Appendix 2 is how do I incorporate activity into my workday? Mm. Um, it has been, I would say, particularly difficult just in conversations I've had with activators to have to sit still if they're working from home on a computer all day and they are typically in a role where they can move around, walk and talk to people on site, off site. Uh, So one thing to ask yourself is how do I incorporate activity into my workday? 
one thing then to ask team members is how can we support each other's physical well-being? Um, so they can help you incorporate activity, but you can also in help them incorporate activity. And then one best practice that as an individual and as a team member you might want to consider is uh, building in breaks within your workday so that you can get up and move around and get those fresh ideas going, get the blood flowing. Um, you know, I wouldn't say cure any anxiety or worries you have, but um, lessen any worry or anxieties you have, because we do know through science and research that walking really helps create new ideas and helps you problem solve. And if you get outside and get that fresh air, what a, what a spark to your well-being that would be. I, I love that framework. Ask yourself. We have a bunch of questions in there. In the book, it's by it's by each section, so by each um, element, of the well-being element. But I love this our opportunity then by theme to kind of drive that in and give you some give you a little advice on that. So asking yourself, ask your team members, and then there's there's some action items in there how to mm -hmm. take action. And so we encourage you to dive into that. No right or wrong answers, by the way, but some great opportunities, some great questions. If you, as a coach, I just ask those questions. <laughs> like that's what I, really good. that's what I would do. Like they're if it were me, element of well being. I, I mean, uh, you just, you can't go wrong. Yeah. You just, they're there. So pick that up. Uh, Jacqueline, anything else we'd add before I close it? That's all I, that's on my mind. All right. Yeah. Sounds good. We want to thank everyone for joining us with that. We'll remind everyone to take full advantage of all the resources we do have available. We have a lot of them available in Gallup Access. Just head out to gallup.com slash Clifton Strengths. Pick up your copy, Wellbeing at Work. It's available in most uh, places. For coaching, master coaching, and become a Gallup Certified Strengths Coach, you can send us an email, coaching at gallup.com. We'll get you set up for that. Follow us on all these webcasts, uh, regardless of when or how you're listening to it, gallup.eventbrite.com. And you can find us on any social, literally any social platform, by searching Clifton Strengths. We want to thank you for joining us today. By the way, if you found this helpful, we'd ask you to share it. This is... In the recorded version, this can be super easy to share. So we'd ask you to share it. If you're listening live, stay around for a little bit of a post show. With that, we'll say goodbye, everybody.